of boxing for a sweep. Oh, he lives in uh, South Africa, and Pretoria is uh, Kennedy, Katende. And he has a particularly difficult task because he's up against one of the gold medal favourites in this division for the Russian Federation, Artur Baterbiev, the reigning European champion and world silver medalist. the uh, pretty formidable Russian. In the red corner representing the Russian Federation, the bronze medalist at last year's Worlds in the United States, Artur Petrobiev. Another pretty formidable Russian, the light heavyweight gold medalist from eight years ago from the Sydney Olympic Games. Alexander Levsiak, that's an interesting way to come into the ring. I've never seen anybody do that before, slide underneath <laughs> of you. No, I haven't. That's the first time ever I've seen a boxing uh, enter the ring through the bottom rope, under the bottom rope, should I say. Still first time for everything. Yep, this is the 23-year-old, qualified in the second European qualifying tournament in, in Athens, was actually runner-up, so he did particularly well. Beat opponents from uh, Poland and Turkey, and in Greece. And then lost in the final to Ireland's Kenny Egan by 15 points to 10. But the Terbia have made no mistake whatsoever. Silver medalist in the World Championships to the Uzbekistani gold medalist Atoyev. He'll be coming up in the not too distant future. So in the blue, Kennedy Katandi. And in the red, the uh, Russian champion, the European champion, the world silver medalist. 23 year old, pretty formidable R2 Baterbiev. Katendi trying to move and keep out of the way, but there's a certain sense of purpose in the work of the of the of the, the Russian. Yeah, Baterbiev experienced holding center straight away, center of the ring. Making his man do all the movement on the outside. Now he's got him in the corner. The Tervyev is uh, an experienced campaigner, Jim. Solid shot into the body, didn't score. It's a good left hand by Baterbiev. Good footwork by the Russian. Throws the shot, he gets the hands back up high to protect his head. Clumsy run the corner left from Katendi. American referee, he's not having any of it. James McNally. Judges for this one from. Venezuela, Lesotho, the Philippines, France, and uh, Argentina. Yeah, Katendi slowed down, and if he stays still long enough, yeah. he's going to get himself in a lot of trouble. Yeah, I was just going to say, um, Katendi, with this moving uh, target of his, he seems to be uh, making things awkward for Baturbiev. But as soon as he slows down, holds the feet, he gets caught left, right and centre, so maybe it, it may be better for him to keep on the move, try and be awkward, nick a shot here and there. Good solid left hand once again coming in from the uh, Russian-European champion. Right to finish that round, didn't record, but a fairly solid and, and predictably solid Opening round from Artur Baterbiev, leading Kennedy Katendi by uh, five points to one. Interesting character, Kennedy Katendi, is a, a graduate in sports management of the London Metropolitan Business School. Baterbiev here, just uh, I think he's showing too much confidence here, just following his man around. Should be trying to cut him off a little bit better than that. He's obviously very confident that he's going to win this contest. That was a good body shot there, good right hand to the body, and a right hand there. 
Katendi struggling, tries to catch Baturiev with that left hook. He had to hold on at the end, he was yeah. under a lot of pressure there, Richie. Yeah. Well, very confident, Kennedy Katendi. Let's see how he gets on in the second two minutes against the uh, one of the gold medal favourites. This is in the bottom half of the draw of the 81 kilogram division and lurking away at the bottom and reckon if things go according to plan you'll see the a repetition of the world championship final from Chicago last year in the in the semi-final because uh, Abu Zatiev of Uzbekistan is at the very bottom quarter of the draw. At the start of this round he's uh, switching out to the southpaw stance has um, Katendi. Interesting style, he's always on the move. And sometimes, as I say, that movement is um, creating an awkward target for Baturiev. Now he's back now he's back to orthodox, but doesn't need to be on the ropes there. And the problem he's got, Jim, as well, he uh, Katendi, his feet come too square. When he comes square, the target's full on, then he really has got problems. Now he picked up a point for a nice little shot inside, so he's closed the gap just to three points to uh, the Terbiev, the European champion, not getting it all his own way. Good right hand, terrific shot, and again. Second one didn't score, but the first was an absolute beaut. Yeah, Katendi just swinging wildly, isn't he, with that, that left hook especially, but inexperience, literally backed himself into that corner. Well, but Terbiev, uh, Maybe not just quite as good as his mentor who's in his corner, Alexander Lebsiak. But pretty efficient. Six two at the halfway point in favour of Baturbiev, not a particularly tall man for a light heavyweight, even round that second one, so uh, Katendi certainly coming back into it, but do you think he can turn it round, Richie? No, I don't, I think he's, uh, his opportunities are a bit limited here, but uh, at the end of the day, I think Baturbiev, he does move in now and again and leave himself open, he's obviously very confident, you see that the way he's uh, following his man all around the ring. Probably feels that the guy shouldn't be in with him, but you know, this is the Olympics and uh, he's got to beat him at the end of the day. Bertier, for me, he's totally in control, but Katendi isn't completely, completely out of it. But he's slowing down and his ring craft is awful. He literally has a, backs himself into a corner and uh, that's not good. Very negative boxing, that is. Yeah, recovered from a rather nasty arm injury. Kennedy Katendi to uh, compete in the second European qualifier. He's got himself tagged at the start of this run with a, a right hand by the Russian Baturbiev, the man in red, but it didn't count according to the, the judges. And uh, once again, we've got to say that three of the five at ringside have got to, within a second, press the same button for it to be recorded on the computer scoring system. A little left for the Russian went in, a little slicing left uppercut. Katendi just pushing him down, which you're not allowed to do. Good refereeing by James McNally from the United States. Well, that's good refereeing by Mr. McNally. He's just letting them get themselves sorted out rather than a sort of step in. That's experience for you. Back to the same pattern as we saw in the in the first round. Katendi moving, but not really doing very much. And Baturbiev just tracking him all the time and picking him off occasionally. Better work there from Baturbiev. Good solid right yeah. to the body. Should have scored. Eventually got his man. He's really just backing him up now. It's better from Baturbiev. He's picked up another couple of points to open up a seven-point gap. Don't wrestle, please, and don't hold. Oh, 
bit of a hop and a skip there from Baterbi. If you just get the feeling now that he's decided he wants to open this up, and I think that's the case. 20 seconds remaining. Yeah, I'm not overly impressed with Baterbi, um, Jim, I have to say. Um, I don't think he's handled the moving style too well. I think um, he's looked too confident. He's been following his man around the ring rather than cutting, cutting him off. Yeah, I've always got the feel, I always had the feeling before this uh, these Olympic Games began that they, this particular division, the light heavyweight, was certainly not one of the uh, one of the more uh, starstruck divisions by any stretch of the imagination. But Terry F always going to be one of the fancied boxers, given how he performed in the Worlds last year. A bit scrappy on the inside here, but that is a good left hand from Baterbiev. That was better. This was at the start of the round when. Uh, and he just changed the tactics a little bit. He started to hold his feet. He got caught with some big shots and then he got back on his bike. But that was a lovely body shot there. Yeah, that's the one didn't count. I was amazed yeah. at that. Right in underneath the rib. And he got a little bit scrappy here and there. Inside of the glove as well there from Batervia. Yeah. But it's good pressure boxing from him. Yeah. That's confidence for you. Well, after this one, there's only another 260 to go. Is that all? Yep. 9-2 to Arthur Baterbiev, the man in red, the 23-year-old Russian European champion. Yeah, he got caught with the right hand there, Baterbiev. That was a nice shot. Glancing shot from Katendi, but he, he threw it wildly and... Uh, Definitely caught Baterbiev. Ireland's Kenny Egan was the man that Baterbiev defeated in the semi-final of the European Championships in 2006, having beaten men from Bulgaria and Armenia. And then I'd point to the Ukrainian Silac, who's uh, not here because of a, a failed drugs test. Oh, it was a good shot there from Baterbiev. Lovely little left hook. Short punch, and he threw it as he was going backwards as well. So good technique there. Gum shield came right out. Got to be cleaned and pop back in again. Baterbiev for the right again. Really looking for this now. He is very strong. He doesn't uh, he doesn't waste too many punches. Picks them. Good footwork. Nicely done. Now he's really coming on strong. Solid left hand into the oh. body from Baterbiev. And Katendi starting to wobble a little bit. He's looking very tired at this stage. He's taken a lot of hard shots on the forearms and the gloves and the upper arms yeah but Toby, now he's showing his class literally he's showing you that he can box on the back foot as well very accurate bringing his opponent onto the shots and that's what you got to do to be a champion not only box on the front foot but on the back foot as well and Baterbiev in this round is doing that very well good footwork good footwork last half minute oh lovely shots and again, it's a very tired Kennedy Katendi. Just about out on his feet, swinging wildly, hoping for one last punch. The Turbiev's not going to let that happen, I'm pretty sure. Good footwork again by the Russian, just easing himself out of trouble. Oh, lovely layback there from the Turbiev. Excellent. Finishes by far the stronger and fitter of the two. Kennedy Katende absolutely exhausted. And the Chinese crowd not altogether impressed with the Russian, but that's not entirely surprising. But I've been pretty impressed with them. It's not maybe just the greatest of divisions, and certainly he's not in the same league as the uh, man in red with his back to us, the great Lebsiak, the gold medalist from Sydney. But uh, Kennedy Katende, one of uh, only two Swedish boxers here, is not going to make it. And uh, the Russian, one of a, a full-strength team of 11, is going to make it because he's won this handily enough. from America raises the hand of the Russian Artur Baterbiev who's uh, won his opening contest in the light heavyweight division by 15 points to three and that brings to an end the uh, opening session here in the boxing tournament in Beijing the highlights of which certainly from a home point of view victories at middleweight for